the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Aviation announced that the U.S. government donated 1.5 million U.S. dollars for the development of human resources in Sri Lanka's port sector. The donation was provided by the Colombo Plan under the financial support of the United States. Under this financial initiative, for a span of three years, foreign scholarships will be provided to the officers and employees engaged in the operations and technical divisions of the Sri Lanka Ports Authority to improve their professional skills. As such, a memorandum of understanding was signed yesterday in the presence of Minister of Ports, Shipping and Aviation, Nima Siripal de Silva, and the U.S. Ambassador to Sri Lanka, Julie Chung. Port, aviation, tourism are some of the very vibrant areas which our economy can be built upon. So therefore, it is very necessary that the landscape of this country, the economic landscape of Sri Lanka has to be changed to suit the modern world and the international perceptions. Luckily, we have a leader with a vision who take very bold decisions, not looking for political advantages, but his vision is to make this country prosperous with the correct policies and program. That is His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe. The Colombo port has transformed itself to a modern port. I'm very happy that you have come out now in most of the ports in the if you go to Dubai or Singapore or any other, you have all your ports in US, you have this port community system. So really we need assistance in that area because the vision of the president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, for a digitalized Sri Lanka. So we are digitalizing all the sectors. So that is not easy because we need the professionals. We need the new technology. We need cyber security. All those areas have to be looked upon. So therefore, we cannot do this in isolation. The US government is teaming up with the Colombo plan to expand human resources, the knowledge, the technical skill set, and expertise of SLPAs, engineers, port engineers, managers, and other operational staff. The goal of this initiative is to provide professional training on current trends, technological advancements, and best practices in the ports management field, and expose the XLPA staff to the latest international standards and best practices. We want to see Sri Lanka's ports be prepared and to be successful as it expands to meet the growing demands of the global economy.